So no, no, no. <laughs> Is that story? What, I don't know. What, 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 oh my god, no way. I said, yo, I'm not the one seeing these exams. <laughs> Neither are we, sir. <laughs> Apparently, there's going to be a virus in 2020 called a coronavirus. And it's going to cancel out all our GCSEs. So, you're not just going it. There's no point being here. Come on, look. who believes this guy? Oh, who this is this trouble? I'm going. Where are you going? I'm, I'm going. going. I'm, I'm leaving. leaving it's not yeah, done yet. We're passing our left. Yo guys, as the intro said, no exams, no GCSEs, thanks to the virus that's going around. Man, it's been like day 21 of staying in my house and it's boring, man. I'm literally on my Xbox, that's it, you know. But um, what's more fun than making a video, which I'll be doing often because I've literally got nothing else to do. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I've left school early to this virus, but... Hopefully. A lot of people are missing school. Don't know why. I mean, probably, yeah. I'd love to see everyone again. I mean, if it's a five-month holiday, I mean, obviously I want to go out and meet everyone, but it's not at the minute because we're actually not allowed to. I mean, why would I go out when our own Prime Minister has the coronavirus? No one... No one should go out at that point. But, um, yeah, I mean, it is really boring not going out places and stuff. I actually been, I haven't actually been in the street yet to see what it's like with no one there, which I could do as a video idea if you want me to, which would be quite fun, just to see the streets and that. All like capital cities like London, they're all like fully isolated, like no one is in the streets of London, it's mad. If you want to see me do that, then I'm all happy too, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> also, um, we actually think we've already had the virus, uh, which I could probably make a little video on, showing my um, conspiracy theory on the virus. A lot of people are saying about how it's because we need to get ready for 5G. I don't know what that's all about. Some people actually believe in it, which uh, I got. <laughs> I got to congratulate you on that. I say you're smart. I say you're smart. I can. I can understand that. This video is going to be about basically. All right. Cool. Basically, we've been isolating for a long time, right? You know, you need stuff. You need stuff to be able to satisfy yourself to keep running while we're while we're in our house all the time so this video is going to be talking about the lockdown survival kit that you need in order to stay how you are hopefully you got one of some of these things because you definitely need them probably you don't do need them and you want them can't wait to just go out and then do that thing but you're stuck inside and you need it so much this is the type of thing that is going to be in this video but before we do i'd like to point out that 37 percent of you haven't subscribed watching my video so please do and if you're new subscribe as well and give this video a like as well you know i like to do these other videos where I'm talking and that we'll be doing much more of them um without further ado let's count down uh lockdown survival kit during the coronavirus so the first thing on my coronavirus survival kit and I think all of you guys cannot wait yeah cannot wait to go out and have this done because the thing is I'm alright because my mum is one of these so I'm sorted you know unless she actually has the bottom unless I or her has the virus and I'm sort of not. And I'm growing my hair out, so I won't need a bar. I won't need a haircut for a while, a very long while. But yeah, this is the barbers. This is what like everyone would want, you know. Or if you haven't had it already, you'd want to go as soon as you're out of that outside. As soon as all the shops are open, you want to get a haircut. Now a lot of people on their Instagram, right, or Snapchat's whatever they put it on, they're starting to get a skinhead. <laughs> That's actually quite smart because then you won't need a haircut for a while. Let your hair grow back and stuff. But it's funny seeing everyone with a skin head. Like even the people, right, with, like had really long hair. And the next thing you know, it's just like it's all gone. It's, it's mad how many people are doing it. But I can understand that, you know. But then it won't be long till we actually need a haircut, and then we'd have to wait till this coronavirus thing is all done. So then you'd be coming out looking like some hermit of the coronavirus. I mean, not really. I mean, if you shave. Yeah, if you do your hair yourself, you know, that's, that's a good idea. Get somebody else to do it, but I mean, you don't want them to muck it up. So I'd say, best thing to do, get a skinhead or grey hair like I'm doing, I mean, if you want to. Right, so the next thing on this list, yeah, and I don't understand why this is such a big, uh, it's such a big deal, because one, we already have a lot of it. I just don't know why. Yeah, because if we think you've already had the virus, when I had it, I did not need lows and lows of toilet paper, you know what I mean? But for some reason, right, everyone thinks that we're gonna have some really bad form of diarrhea or something when this virus thing's going around. Like, everyone in the stores, everyone in the shops are fighting, they're literally fighting for toilet paper and hand sanitizer. People are buying these big tubs of hand sanitizer offline, and I don't know if there is hardly any left, you know, which is kind of weird because we don't really need it. I mean, basically, 
2020 now, flexing his toilet paper and hand sanitizer, that's it. You know, people will be gambling. People will be gambling on toilet paper. I mean, if, if you haven't seen the video, you you understand. You won't understand. If you don't understand, the video is, I think it's that corner, the thing comes up. So go and watch it, go and watch it, and then you can understand what this world has come to. Just wash your hands. Like, I don't understand why you need hand sanitizer and toilet paper for, you know? I just don't understand why people are having, are trying to get it so much. Right, so the next thing, number three on this list, and honestly, like, it's been the first, like, week, yeah, the first three days, yeah, without one of these. I cannot handle it. Right, smash the like button right now, yeah, if you miss your fast food shops. I'm talking McDonald's, KFC, you know, Five Guys, all the greats, you know. Some people like Nando's. Don't know why. Basically, yeah, I cannot wait to, for all these to open. I haven't had a McDonald's in so long, yeah. I'm so upset, but... Why don't I just go and catch ca some particle thrown in here? <laughs> Basically, I can't wait for McDonald's to open up again because I just can't wait to have another one. I just can't wait to have... When this is all done, just have a McDonald's. McDonald's is so nice, man. And all the other ones, all the others as well, but honestly, like, I live near McDonald's. Once it's all done, as soon as it opens, I'm going to McDonald's, man. I actually cannot wait, you know. It does sound kind of, like, fat, but everyone, I bet all of you, yeah, can't wait to have a McDonald's. It's... So stressful just eating food, just eating food that you have to cook and stuff. And then by the time that all runs out, you have to go to the shops and then can't really find anything, you know. And then you're just buying all this stuff that you're just like, oh, have that, have that, have that. And there's some fussy people in this world, like my brother, yeah, who won't eat pizza because there's garlic stuff on it. That's basically it. He's so fussy, yeah. So I don't know how he's going to survive. If there was like a apocalyptic world where nothing was left, he wouldn't survive. Like, geez, kind of fat, so he might feed on himself, but <laughs> I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, McDonald's, man, can't wait to have one. Why is my brother so loud, man? <laughs> Honestly, you just can't shut up to save his life, man. You don't be the type of person, yeah, to be held at gunpoint and to be said not to say anything, but he'd say that one thing. He'd say that one thing, and that must be it. Basically, number four on this list, yeah, and I think you need this because just gonna be dusty if you don't have it and that's like washing up liquid all that stuff because basically yeah you can't not wash your clothes I mean you have to wash your clothes and you have to wash yourself and stuff like that you need washing stuff to keep healthy that's like a way to prevent the virus so none of that and then you know you're not you have a higher risk of getting it you know what I mean imagine like your clothes stinking every day you're gonna have to wear the same clothes like twice or three times a day because you're going to have to have a limit because of the amount of washing up liquid you use or all that's available in the shops and stuff. So that's like sort of a good essential, I'd say. You know, don't end up like my brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, washing up liquid, that's another thing on this list. Number five, yeah? And for everyone, I think, we all want this. We all want this to come back, yeah? Who misses the gym? The gym is like one of the places where you can probably spread the virus most because we're touching the metal and stuff. But I just can't wait to get back in the gym, man, and doing stuff, you know what I mean? Me and my dad, we always went to the gym often. My brother just started as well. But now, with the virus, we can't go to the gym. You know, it'd be closed or it'd be a bad idea to go. So everyone's buying all these gym equipment stuff, doing it all at home. The footballers are sorted. They have their own gym in their house. So they're fine. We have some stuff in the garden. We have like a, what is it, the, the bike, you know? Just It's just a bike thing that you pedal. You know the thing in the gym. I mean, you can do exercise at home. There's a lot of people doing, showing people exercise stuff on YouTube. We just all want to get back into the gym, man. Just grinding out in the gym, you know? Yeah, the gym. It, it needs to come back. We all can't wait to get back into the gym. So number six on this list, yeah, and let me just say something, yeah. Girls are probably stressing so hard at this time because girls are always out. Girls are always out. Yeah, you know, they wouldn't do anything else. They'd be out all the time. They'd never, they'd just never be in their house, you know what I mean? But since this whole virus thing is coming around, you can't go outside. I keep on seeing this thing on, you know, my types of people on Snapchat, yeah, the people with all the quotes and stuff. There's this one, yeah, where it's like, or oh, if you're hanging around with your girlfriend or boyfriend in isolation, like, go away. It won't be long till it's all gone and then you can actually see them. Like, as if you're just there, crippling, you know, in your room, just waiting to see your girl, your boyfriend. Us boys, yeah, we're sorted. I mean, us true gamers out there, we've been self up well, my brother, you know, he's been self isolating for his whole life, so, you know, he's used to it, man. Us boys have an Xbox, yeah, and a PlayStation, grind out on that, you know, while in isolation. You know, I've been playing FIFA, Forza a lot, you know, so, I'm sorted, man. You 
it we all saw it you can see all on all online there's like 30 people online and it's mad that's, that's all what our boys us boys are doing you know so you know we saw it we we all we're not stressed during the isolation thing it's the girls who just want to go out and the thing is yeah because us year 11s right we're like we're all right because we finished school we don't need to do anything yeah our teachers are still sending us like revision stuff right my, my english teacher the other day sent me english tests to do right i'm not gonna need to analyze a quote from Macbeth to be able to do a media television film course at college aren't i at least we're all out in year 10s you know they have to teach themselves everything for gcc so i think the year 10s yeah are the worst have the I'm in worst situation it is so I um give you all luck the attend yeah praise for you you know yo you deserve an award all you year 10 yeah studying and stuff teach yourself stuff now praise all you guys yeah for getting work to do at home but us year 11 you all right so you know give a round of applause for that man we're gonna go down to history yeah as the only yet didn't do their GCSEs people are gonna be learning about us in 50 years time people are gonna be learning about this speaking about the girls the last thing yeah because they just want to go out want to meet their friends and that them stuck at home they can't do that you know they get isolated from their friends you know so what do they do they do the old classic house party you know I remember doing this back in the day like year 9 it was so funny it was like FaceTime and Skype but you had like, like 8 people I think yeah house party stuff like that you need that during the lockdown because you're gonna still need to you know talk to your friends and that house party that's um the last thing i have on this list so yeah that is it for this video if you liked it if you want to see more ones like this i'm happy to do some of them you know just a lockdown video sort of thing um i will be doing my broom up so when that's all done i can include like the comparison uh in the video and uh, i can't wait till it's done it's gonna look more my age you know what i mean because i've had the same stuff for ages man it's gonna be more space and that and gonna have some lights behind the tv and that. it's gonna look nice so yeah can't wait for that but yo during the lockdown thing keep on doing what you're doing you know what was it it was like stay home protect the nhs save lives yeah so keep on doing what you're doing you know and get all things all get through this together especially you girls who can't wait to see their boyfriends don't try and die yet we've still got a couple of months to go but anyway it's been your boy brandon and uh yeah what a time and my brother's being loud again let's just wait for him to stop there you go. So, uh, yeah, that's it. And I'll see you later. See, we do what they never do. Wonder why they hate. Show them love when I'm on the stage. Girl, just show me press. Don't want hugs. Wanna see you dance. Then just pass your square. Give the unks. Yeah, she fell in love. See, we do what they never do. Wonder why they hate. Show them love when I'm on the stage. Girl, just show them press. Don't want hugs. Wanna see you dance. Then just pass your square. Give the unks. Yeah, she fell in love. Just another black boy 